hey guys this is another video tutorial of windows system programming in this tutorial we'll see how to synchronize the thread so here i'll use one program print odd and even number using thread and mutex so first step is you have to create the mutex then after that you have to create the two thread and then in thread function you have to provide the weight for single object or release mutex api and in main function lastly we have to use the close handle api so here the API is for release mutex. It says that it release ownership of the specified mutex object. So whenever we are uh, create the mutex, uh, then it will return one handle. So that handle we have to pass here. So these are the explanation and check the return value. The return value is non-zero if the function succeeds and uh, if anything goes wrong, then the return value is zero and we can print the get last error function. So here are the some remarks and you see the some example is there. You can go and check it and wait for sing single object and wait for the multiplier. There are two functions. So it says that it waits until the specified object is in the signal state or the timeout interval elapses. So uh, the return type of that uh, uh, function is dword type and it takes two parameter first one is the handle for mutex or thread and here provide we have to provide the some time time by default already in millisecond so this is the one important things so here i have to show that in first argument we have to pass the handle to the object and second argument is millisecond so timeout interval in millisecond if a non-zero value if you if you have to specify it, the function waits until the object is signal or the interval elapses so it waits for the particular time and then after that uh, it will signal otherwise you have to provide the infinite infinite the function will return only when the object is signaled state so same thing return value if the function succeeds the return value indicate the event that caused the function to return so you have to check here the return value so in this program i will not use here uh, this return value i will keep it here simple as simple as possible and second argument is wait for the signal of wait for multiple object this function is where we are using uh, more more than one thread if you are using then you have to wait Other, uh, if you if are using uh, two process then you, we have to use that uh, function for that same thing first argument it takes the count count means number how many numbers of thread or process is there then handle for that and then wait all or uh, these are the uh, see here wait all true then function returns when the state of all object pre handle is signaled state otherwise uh, nothing and here you have to provide the <coughs> wait time for that so both function almost same it wait for the single object it will wait for the multiple object if we are creating the mo suppose if we have a five thread so we have to use here five then according to that uh, it will provide here uh, 5000 millisecond means it will wait for one one uh, second for that so let's start our coding first so oh, I'll use here my previous program if you are not aware then you can check my previous tutorial how to create thread and how to create mutex for that so here I have a thread function uh, thread API so directly I'm copying the thread here and what I'll do here copy that function till there so I'm not using this function uh, this argument here so I'll keep it here null so uh, first step is we have to create the mutex so here are the mutex function I'll use here because I have a positive of time so that's why I'm just copy and pasting the code here 
if you have any doubt then you can check my previous tutorial for that this handle I have to create global h mutex for that and rest of the things are same so I have create first step I have to create we have to create first mutex and then two thread so here let's say this thread is one and so here we have to pass the thread to each and everything is same just uh, control V so what I'll do here here I'll use the thread function 2 let's say thread function odd type here and thread function even for understanding purpose so here are the thread function which we have already created so just copy here so next we have to print first function will print uh, sorry here this thread function print the even number and second thread will print the odd number and we have to provide the synchronization between that so remove that now and then here you know that I'll use your close handle function for releasing the memory for that so H thread one just copy and provide that to so we have done our almost all these things now we have to write here logic so I'll use here one global function int uh, c g count and initialize with zero so now we have to write here logic so this is this will this function will print the even number so I'll use here while suppose I have to print the odd and even number between 1 to 10 so check here g count less than equal to 10 provide here initialize with 1 so now, now we have to use here wait for single object function so we have to pass the handle for even function so the handle is h thread 1 so we have to provide here h thread 1 now second argument is provide the time so I'll use here infinite you can uh, use so and then check one condition if g count less than 10 sorry uh, 2 equals this one so we have to provide the g count c out we have to first print c 
out C out and print here even and then provide here G count increment it and then here you have to use the release mutex function so release mutex and pass the h h thread one so there is something error sorry here we have to provide the mutex handle for that h mutex this handle we have to pass that because it provide the lock for that so that's why we were getting error so now almost same same thing I have to use in even so just copy and paste it here and write here odd and uh, this condition for one okay now so we have created the so let's say uh, okay so now we have done our coding first I'll do in thread event function I have to check for this condition so it will print the event number and this section this wait for signal and this section provide the lock between that so all the instruction run between this uh, it will work as an atomic operation no one can alter this value so let's build our code once again So now it's building. So now build succeeded and run our code. So see odd, even, odd, even, odd, even up to 10. So this was the basic program of how to synchronize the thread thread synchronization of thread so this was the very simple program first I have created the one mutex and then two thread so thread synchronize thread synchronization okay so so it's building done so thread synchronization first it will print the odd number it then even number then odd then even then odd even even up to 10 you can if you provide here 100 so it will print the odd and even number up to 100 so once again I'll tell you first I have created the mutex function I did not check anything you can check then thread and then with a close handle I have used for that and in thread function I have a handle of mutex and count variable I made a global because I have to access in that function and then I'll use here it will wait for the single object but it will get the signal state from the mutex and then after that it will perform operation here and then after performing we have to release the mutex so this become provide a lock for that only for thread I have already told you that the mutex act as a locking and it is only used for the thread synchronization so I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching this video. Do hit comment, share and subscribe this channel.